Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 10. Class 10. Let's go! Beginner. Bienvenidos, bienvenidos. Welcome, welcome to class 10. Wow, ya, ya estamos en clase 10, class 10. Como siempre, vamos a empezar con un repaso de lo que hemos visto en los últimos clases, bueno, en el último clase, en clase 9. Y estuvimos hablando de, de ríos, rivers, calles, streets, motorways, o también highways autovías y montañas, mountains y cosas así. Is the M30 a river or a motorway? Is the M30 a river or a motorway? It's a motorway. Is it a river? No, it's not. Is it a motor is it a motorway in Madrid or in Barcelona? It's a motorway in Madrid. It's a. Estuvimos pr también practicando con la pronunciación y colocando las palabras juntos, los sonidos juntos. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a motorway. It's a highway. It's a highway in Madrid. It's not a highway in Barcelona. It's a highway in Madrid. Is the Castellana a street or a river? Is the Castellana a street or a river? It's a street. It's a, it's a street. It's not a river. It's a street. Is the M40? The, is the M40? M40. Is the M40 a river or a highway? Highway, o también se puede decir motorway. Is the M40 a river or a motorway? It's a motorway. It's not a river. It's not a river. Is Everest a mountain or a river? Is it a river? No, it's not. Is it a highway? No, it's not. Is it a mountain? Yes, it is. Is it a mountain or a river? It's a mountain. Are the Rockies, plural, the Rockies, are the Rockies, que están en, en Estados Unidos y también en Canadá, the Rockies, are the Rockies mountains or lakes? Son lagos o montañas. Are, there, are they mountains or lakes? They're mountains. Are they lakes? No, they're not. They're not lakes. They're mountains. Is Alcala a street or a river? Is Alcala a street or a river? It's a street. Is it a short street or a long street? It's a long street. Is it a short street? No, it's not. Is it a river? No, it's not. Is the Tajo a street? No, it's not. What is it? It's a river. Is it a long river or a short river? En voz alta, conmigo. Is it a long river or a short river? It's a long river. Is it a river in Spain or a river in Germany? It's a river in Spain. Is the Bernabeu a football stadium or a baseball stadium? Con la misma idea, pero en otras palabras. Ahora, is the, Ber the Bernabeu a football stadium or a baseball stadium? It's a football stadium. Is it a stadium in Madrid or in Seville? Is it a stadium in Madrid or in Seville? En voz alta, conmigo. It's a stadium in Madrid. Is the Prado a museum? Is the Prado a museum? Or is it a football stadium? Is the Prado a museum or a football stadium? It's a museum. It's not a football stadium. It's not an office building, edificio de, 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 de negocios. No. What is it? What, what is the Prado? It's a museum. Is it an old museum or a new museum? It's an old museum. Is it a museum in Madrid or in Bilbao? It's a museum in Madrid. And the Reina Sofia? Is the Reina Sofia uh, an art gallery? Or is it a... Or is it a, <laughs> an office building? Well, it's an art gallery. Right. Okay. Word of the day. 
That's right. It's time for the word of the day. The word of the day. Our word of the day today is home. Home. Cuidado que con la pronunciación que estoy cerrando la boca con la M. Home. Home. También tenemos la palabra house. Casa. Estamos hablando de más o menos casa, house, house. Yo estoy hablando con mi acento canadiense, house. Los americanos dicen house. House o house, que es más casa, y home, que es más hogar. Digamos en inglés, en inglés we say, home is where the heart is. Or home is where your heart is. Donde está tu, tu, tu corazón. Entonces, vivo aquí en España. My house is in Madrid. Pero tengo mi familia y, bueno, tengo muchos amigos aquí en España también. Pero me siento todavía como my home. I feel that my home is still in Canada. We say home is where the heart is. So house is more casa. Whereas home can be hogar. Okay? Home. So remember the pronunciation. Be careful with the pronunciation and closing your mouth with the M. Home. Home. No quiero oír hon. No. Home. Home. Como Beckham. David Beckham. Beckham. Cerrando la boca. Beckham. Muy bien. Ahora vamos a practicar unos adjetivos. Adjectives. Adjectives. No problem. No problem. Son muy fáciles los adjetivos en inglés porque, bueno, la diferencia... Eh, más notable entre los, los adjetivos ingleses y españoles es la colocación, ¿ok? Y la regla aquí que, que tenemos que saber es que van siempre delante de los sustantivos, ¿ok? Los adjetivos van siempre delante de los sustantivos. Es muy fácil, pero hay que acordar eso siempre, siempre, ¿ok? Los adjetivos, bueno, son las palabras que describen a los sustantivos. A big city. Madrid is a big city. It's not a small city. It's a big city. It's not a wet city. Eh, es que no, no llueva mucho. Entonces, no, it's not wet. No está muy mojado por las calles. It's not wet. It's not a wet city. It's, a, it's quite a dry city. No puedes decir, it's a city big. No, 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 no. Por favor, no. It, not a city big. No, no, no. It's a big city. It's a big city. Okay? I have good news for you. Buenas noticias para ti. Los adjetivos en inglés nunca cambian. Nunca cambian. Mientras en español hay cuatro versiones de cada uno. Pequeño, pequeña, pequeños, pequeñas. En, in, en inglés solo hay uno. Small. Small. Entonces, es, eso es bastante fácil, ¿no? Así, así que es. English is easy, right? No problem. Es muy fácil, ¿no? Small. Big. ¿Ok? Y no hace falta uh, masculino, femenino, ni nada así. Ok, let's practice with big and small. Practicando la colocación. Is Madrid a big city or a small city? It's a big city. Is Jarandía de la Villa a big town or a small town? <laughs> It's a small town. Is it a big city? No, it's not. Is it a small town? Yes, it is. Is Luxembourg a big country or a small country? Luxembourg. It's a small country. Is Brazil a big country or a small country? It's a big country. Is, bueno, voy a ver mi mapa aquí. Is Haiti, is Haiti a big country or a small country? It's a small country. It's a small country. Is Macedonia? Is Macedonia a big country or a small country? It's a small country. Voy a hablar ahora de, pro de provincias de Canadá. Hemos hablado muchas veces de, de estados, de los Estados Unidos, pero en Canadá te puedo decir que hay 10 provincias en Canadá. There are 10 provinces. Entonces... Voy a hablar de, por ejemplo, Ontario. Is Ontario a big province or a small province? It's a big province. Y si no sabes, me dices, I don't know. I don't know. Pues pregúntame, Kyle, Kyle, 
Is Ontario a big province or a small province? It's a big province. Ask me, pregúntame, ask me if Prince Edward Island, Prince Edward Island, la isla de Príncipe Eduardo, Prince Edward Island is a big province or a small province? Kyle, is Prince Edward Island a big province or a small province? It's a small province. It's a very small province. Es muy, es muy, muy, muy pequeña. Yes. Is Texas a big state or a small state? It's a big state. Is Delaware a big state or a small state? It's a small state. Is Vodafone a big company or a small company? It's a big company. Is Ford a big company or a small company? It's a big company. It's a big company. Impresa. It's a big company. Okay, fíjate. Small. Small. Pronunciation. What? Eso es. Llevo ya tiempo hablando de small, pero hay que fijar la pronunciación aquí, que estoy diciendo small, sin, no, y no estoy diciendo a small, que no hay ningún e, ni, no, no hay ningún vocal. Small. El sonido empieza aquí. Con la, con, en mi boca no hay ningún movimiento de, de mis cuerdas vocales. Small. Small. Prince Edward Island is a small province. Delaware is a small state. Okay? Small. And Luxembourg is a small country. Is the Prado a big museum or a small museum? It's a big museum. Is the Camp No a big stadium or a small stadium? It's a big stadium, very big. Is the Bernabeu a big stadium or a small stadium? It's a big stadium. Vocabulary of the day. All right, it's time for the vocabulary of the day. The vocabulary of the day today. We can take a look at a few words here, our five words of the day. Nuestros cinco palabras de vocabulario. Alumno. Alumno. Student. Student. Eso es. Student. También hay la, la palabra en inglés pupil. Pupil. Pero eso no se usa tanto. Pupil no es, no es muy común. Entonces, te recomiendo que dices siempre student por alumno. Student. Azúcar. Azúcar. Sugar. 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 Sí, shh, shh, sugar. Como silencio. Shh, 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 shh. Sugar. Ese sonido. Sugar. Y mesa. Mesa. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Mesa. Table. Table. That. Eso. ¿Qué es eso? What is that? That. Estoy sacando la lengua. That. 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 ¿Y este? This. This, this, this. Este está mejor que aquello. This is better than that. This and that. Con la lengua ensacada para dar el sonido del TH. This y that. Muy bien. Ahora vamos a ver un, unos adjetivos más. Long and short. Long and short. Okay. Is the Ebro, the Ebro, a long river, un río largo, or a short river, un río corto? Is the Ebro a long river or a short river? It's a long river. Is this a long class or a short class? Is this a long class or a short class? Well, it's a short class. This beginner class is a short class. Solamente 20 minutos. Luego vamos a ver intermediate. Pero en total son una hora, bastante largo. It's, it's a long class. The total is a long class. Is the Castellana a long street or a short street? Is it a long street or a short street? It's a long street. Is the Mississippi a long river or a short river? The Mississippi. River. Fíjate que digo river, sino river. No estoy diciendo river, pero river. Is the, Casti is the Mississippi a long river or a short river? It's a long river. Very long. 
It's a long river that goes from north to south. It runs from north to south in the United States. In the United States. Is the word Mississippi a long word or a short word? Conmigo, en voz alta, siempre. Is the Mississippi a long word or a short word? It's a... It's a... It's a long word. It's a long river and it's a long word, Mississippi. Is the word big a long word or a short word? It's a short word. It's a short word. Is the Manzanares uh, a long river or a short river? It's a short river. Is the Amazon a long river or a short river? It's a long river. Is the Miño, el Miño, is the Miño a short river or a long river? The Miño, the Miño, which is English for El Miño. <laughs> is, the, is the Miño a long river or a short river? It's a short river. Okay, repeat after me. Repeat with me. It's a big house. It's a small house. It's a big house. It's a small house. Muy bien. Repeat after me. It's a long river. It's a short river. He's a big man. He's a small man. Y no estoy diciendo a small, pero... He's a small man. It's a long class. It's a short class. It's a big building. It's a small building. Edificio. It's a long rope. Cuerda. Es una cuerda muy, muy largo. It's a long rope. It's a short rope. It's a big museum. It's a small museum. It's a long street. It's a short street. En voz alta. It's a long street. It's a short street. Muy bien. It's a big book. It's a small book. Ahora pregúntame. Ask me. Is the Rhine a river or a street? Ask me. Kyle, is the Rhine a river or a street? Well, it's a river. It's not a street. Ask me if it's a long river or a short river. Kyle, is it a long river or a short river? It's a long river. I is it a river in Germany or in Spain? It's a river in Germany. It's not a river in Spain. Do you remember the word of the day? Do you remember the word of the day? The word of the day. Palabra del día. Home. Home. También hemos, hemos practicado house. House and home. Home is where the heart is. Ahora os dejo porque hemos quedado sin tiempo. Os dejo ahí. Pero mañana más y si, tengo, si, si, si tienes alguna duda o pregunta, siempre en la página web, entres en la página web baugaringlés.com y escribe tu, tu pregunta y vamos a contestar a todos las preguntas de la página web. ¡Hasta la próxima! ¡Chao! ¡Bye bye!